Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand how to make a true input NOR gate using static CMOS, pseudo NMOS, dynamic logic and C square MOS logic. Okay, let's get started. I have already taught you a shortcut trick while we implemented a two input NAND gate, how to make any schematic or how to implement any expression when we have the value of the expression given to us. Here I have written the expression for a two input NOR gate. The trick was that hide the bar, whatever is underneath the bar is nothing but your pull down network. In this case it's A plus B plus means parallel. Pull down comprises of N MOSs. So this is N MOS with an input A. This is N MOS with an input B and both of them are connected in parallel. So I got my pull down circuit and we discussed that the pull up would be exactly complementary to your pull down circuit. Pull up comprises of P MOSs. P MOS transistors would be connected in series because the pull down network has N MOS transistors connected in parallel. So this is nothing but my transistor A. This is nothing but my transistor with an input B and this is my VDD and this is my ground and output is taken in between the pull up and the pull down network. This is V out. Now if you implement this circuit and put different values of A and B's you will ensure or you will find out that it satisfies the truth table. So this is one trick of how to make the schematic of a static circuit from the expression given to us. How do we achieve the same circuit from the truth table? Let's quickly see that as well. Here we have been given that when my inputs A and B both are zeros, my output is one. That is the only one case when my output is going to be high. In the previous clip, we have seen that out of pull up and pull down network, the circuit which can produce an output high is nothing but my pull up network comprising of PMOS. So this is the logic given for PMOS. So when will PMOS produce an output high or PMOSs produce an output high is when A is 0 and B is 0 and is series and zeros. So PMOS turns on when a 0 is given. So it's very straightforward for my pull up. I got a transistor with an input A and a transistor with an input B. So when both of this are 0, I get my output equal to high. This is nothing but my VDD. So I got my pull up network, which is similar to what I have drawn below. Now let's draw a pull down network. In pull down network, we have three cases. All the three outputs zero and who is good at producing the output zero, the pull down network or NMOSs. And when will my output be equal to zero? Let's see all the cases. First case, A is zero, but NMOS does not turn on when a zero is applied. So we need to invert A. So that is nothing but A bar. A zero means a bar 1. So A is 0 and B is 1. This is and or this case or this case here we say that A is 1 and B is 0. B is 0 means B bar is 1 or this is the third case. A is 1 and B is 1. So this is nothing but the expression for my pull down network. If we substitute this using the basic theorems that we have run in the past, A plus A is equal to A. So I can add an additional AB here. AB plus AB is going to be AB. Let's take common terms. Let's take B common, B, A plus A bar, correct? And then let's take A common, B plus B bar. We know that A plus A bar or B plus B bar will be equal to 1. So this is nothing but B plus A. So my pull down comprises of two transistors, one with input B, another one with input A and both of them are connected in parallel. Pull down means NMOSes, A, B connected in parallel to each other. This is my ground and in between the pull up and pull down network, I get my output V out. So we saw that with the truth table also, we got exactly the same circuit which I have taught you to be implemented using the shortcut trick. So this completes the static style of implementation. Let's go ahead and do this implementation in pseudo NMOS style. 